It's YouTube Wednesday. I bought some stuff. Now, you don't have to buy stuff uh, because you might have candy around. I did buy these lollipops because these, this, like, this is just like what candy looks like to me. Like that is candy. So, I have some five minute epoxy. I have candy. I have an orange bucket. I bought these from Uline, but you can, it could be an orange Halloween pumpkin pail. I traced, I put the bucket down and I traced it uh, to make a lid. And you're probably thinking, ah, that, that lid is gonna fall inside of the bucket. You're, you're right. And that's kind of what I want too. And I'm cutting about a half inch around what I traced. This bit, I want it to go down and fit inside. I'm gonna glue this in, and that way I have a lip inside that will hold this lid. Okay, so I have some nuts and bolts thing to put in the bucket to make noise. Don't use fender washers because fender washers are so valuable. Three years from now, you'll remember that you put them in there and you'll rip it open to get out a couple fender washers. So never use fender washers. And they go in the bucket. And I want all the same thing. I want different variety. I want a variety of noise. That's pretty lovely. I'm now gonna put a line of glue on the bucket so I can put the ring in. I'm putting that line of glue about an inch and a half down. Handful of noisy stuff. Don't close it up without the handful of noisy stuff. I'm drilling holes on either side of the handle. So I can zip tie it in place. So now I'm gonna put glue on top of the ring so that I can settle this down in there. Great. That's what this looks like. I'm gonna pre-screen a pile here so it's kind of even. Candy. And I'm hitting the candy and I'm hitting the edge so that it helps glue on that uh, piece.
but I went to Walmart. Everything I got here was from Walmart. Except for the bucket. But near Halloween time, you could get a bucket. Very close to this. I like the five minute epoxy because it looks like, like the sugar is leaking out. And that's uh, also gives you a nice gross factor. If you want, you can put some eyeballs in here or some severed fingers, just little things. While that's drying, I will do my pumpkin face. If I'm, think about ergonomics. If I'm holding this to shake it, I'll probably hold it like this. So I want the pumpkin face to be here. But if the pumpkin face here, I can't shake it as well. Drawing my face first. Let's get dual coverage. We'll do another face on the other side. done. So now this kit has a innocent pail of candy. And it's a good noise maker. Go make stuff. Okay, let's get into some Patreon shoutouts. This week, we would like to thank these folks for helping us continue to make monsters. Scott from Pop Pop's Scare Shop, The Midnight Makers, and Jan Knuth. Now go make stuff.